All right, James Paddock, the Las Vegas shooter. Uh, boy, there's so much to say about this. I don't know where to start. Uh, first off, I guess from our, from my standpoint, or, or anyone who's interested in this channel, the few things to look at are, are from the standpoint of, of of you being a member of the general militia and the security of your own family and and, and your day-to-day -day situation. And and the first one is simply is that that. The first takeaway for most of us is uh, stay away from 20,000 person crowds. They're, they're a giant target and there are, there are people who are uh, taking shots at those targets. The, the whole situation itself has a lot of questions about it. I, I'm not sure which one to talk about first. You know, my thoughts on the, the, the tactical situation side of things or, or the bigger picture. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to separate the two. Uh, you know, if you're watching any of the news, there's not a lot of answers out there right now about this one, and a lot of questions. I mean, a lot of mysterious circumstances surrounding this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this guy's got no history of, of, of gun ownership or, or knowledge or training. 400 meters is a long, it's a long, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's very doable. Any man can take 400 meter shots, especially at a 20,000 person target, but that's a, that's a long shot for someone to envision taking. You know, if you if you don't have that training, if you you've never had someone sit down and tell you, oh yes, you can take a 400 meter shot, it's really weird for someone to 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 just off the top of their head start thinking, oh, I'll, I'll take a 400 meter shot from an, an elevated position. That's if you've ever seen 400 meters and envisioned shooting from that far. And, and you don't have a history with guns, and you don't know what, what weapons are capable of and, and how to use them at that range, that's not an organic, intuitive leap to make. Uh, so that's really weird to me. The pictures I've seen of the shooting site are, are of, of an inner room. It doesn't look like it's the room by the window where he would have been shooting out of. The rifles I all saw were high-end uh, AR-15s with... Uh, aim points and ACOGs, and I, I, I don't always get all those sights right because I don't uh, I, I don't use those. But some of the high end, you know, holographic sights, uh, all of them had collapsible stocks. Uh, some of them had longer barrels. It looked like the, to me they looked like some of they were Daniel defenses. What it looked like to me, but that's just me looking at those pictures. Uh, but here's the deal: listening to the video. Ah, I mean, anyone who's who's heard of the AR-15 M16 go off before, you can recognize that that sound real distinctively. And it was not an AR-15 sound that I heard firing in those video clips. Uh, it, I've heard people talk about the eerie, eerie similarity to the the M240 Golf, which I have fired, maybe not extensively, but I have put thousands of rounds through one, and it did sound a lot like an M240 Golf. And it sounded to me like five to seven round bursts, which, which is what you're trained to, to put through it. Uh, listening to it, it, it was a real disturbing, to, to me, sound because it, it did sound so... It, it sounded like someone had really good hardware and they really knew what they were doing. The sound. I don't like to do these, you know, conspiracy theories, you know... I just, I can't believe we're there, you know, where our government is, if we really believed our government was doing things like that on purpose, we should all have our rifles and we should all be at Washington, D.C., and, and we should just be clearing house. I, 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 I have a hard time believing we're there yet. However, <laughs> the, the evidence on this one is really disturbing. You know, this guy had 27 different addresses in his adult life, uh, a millionaire with no apparent, uh, source of income two airplanes uh going nuts i don't know Th this one's bizarre people the hundred thousand dollars to the philippines the girlfriend out of the country i mean everything about this one just it's very hard to wrap your mind around i'm sure a lot of people out there have answers and, and theories and, and solutions and i'm sure you guys will recommend a lot of videos and ideas uh I try not to watch those before I talk about something uh, because I, I I can be fairly easily influenced uh, and I, I don't want to just be regurgitating what everybody else says. Uh, but uh, 
I don't know what's going to come out of this one, if anything. You know, I mean, it, it could just be the simplest solution is, is you know, the best. You know, this could just be a whack job who, who lost it. Uh, and he is an indictment of our of our modern world. You know, this is a, a man in his 60s, no children. Uh, he's he's achieved the dream, you know, and, and you know, you, you, I guess the storyline could be that he found it empty and there was no fulfillment. It does appear as though he was on some antipsychotics. A lot of these mass murderers are. Uh, Adam Lanza and and the Dylan Roof kid and, and all these people seem to be on these these antipsychotics or antidepressants. Uh, there's one Dianza Prim or Pram or uh, apparently it's it's one that gets used a lot by these guys. Uh, so, I mean, it could be that it's just that you know we've got this this nihilistic. Uh, guy who doesn't believe anything and has lived the has lived the life and the dream and found it empty at the end and you know has nothing left but just to take it out on everybody I don't know you could sell me on that storyline that 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 sort of encapsulates our culture for me right now where we're at as a country or as a society you know where we have everything and believe nothing and and mean nothing and are are looking for meaning and something I don't you know it's I mean we're gonna see more of this stuff uh, uh, as our our culture and our society continues to to disintegrate and, and people continue to start coming into the realization, especially these baby boomers, as they get to the end of this, you know, the richest, most powerful, most influential, most pampered uh, generation in the history of the world, the American baby boomers, as they get to this end of, end of their lives, and there's these 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 people who grew up in this society coming from broken homes like this guy came from. Uh, you know, minimal family connections, no higher purpose, no greater meaning, no children, no, you know, I, if you fall into these categories, I'm not saying you're a psychopath who's going to start killing everybody. I'm not saying that you don't have a reason to live or anything, but, but it gets harder in those circumstances. You know, if you're, if you're the only child of a broken marriage and you yourself have never formed a, a lasting pair bond and produced children and grandchildren, and here you are 64, 65, and what, what's it all mean? Yeah, it, it could get hard. Uh, I, I mean, you could convince me that's all it would take. Anyway, I'm sorry. That that was a lot of uh, what, to circle back around to, you know, what do we do with this in our daily lives? Our, us, as men, as protectors, as defenders, uh, as members of the journal militia, the big takeaway from this, and I wish I'd set it up front because I've probably lost half of you by now, and, and and this is probably the most important thing. It took the cops 72 minutes to get to this guy. Maybe I'm glad I waited until this part. Look, this guy, 59 people is a horrific body count. Worst in modern history. This guy had 72 minutes. And if he'd have really thought this through, this this could have been a much, much higher body count incident uh, on a whole host of levels. I mean, if he'd have just done a few things different, you know, barricade the door, start a few garbage can think, think about it. if he just started a few like trash fires around the hotel and and called in a fake bomb threat for a hotel on the other side of town uh, this guy could have had emergency services going nuts you know he could have had an hour and a half to do this uh, you know it took the cops 72 minutes to get to this guy and that's not necessarily an indictment of the cops it it raises some questions <laughs> some severe serious questions about our, you know, our supposed all all powerful law enforcement system that, that can protect us all from all threats, and none of us have to worry about anything or be armed or have any uh, responsibility ourselves. Seventy two minutes is a long time. It was a big hotel, though. I I mean I get that. Uh, I, I, I this is another one of these aspects of the things I'm wavering on. On one hand, I can say seventy two minutes. What the heck? The other time thing I can say, all right, you know, I mean it's. It's the 30-second story of a giant ho multi-sided gold-colored hotel, you know? I mean, there's 20,000 people on the ground getting shot. How do you divide up your, your assets and your resources? And, you know, what do you do? You, you, you put everybody on searching the hotel. You put people on, on, on rescue. I, I don't know. That, that, that's a very, very hard... It's, it's, deer season's coming up. Everyone's out uh, sighting in their rifles. That's a very hard... Uh, you know, scenario to deal with, and I, I don't envy those men on the ground. You never question the man on the ground because he was on the ground dealing with, there were bullets flying. The men on the ground made the decisions they had to make. They did the best they could. 
I'm, I wouldn't I wouldn't criticize those men on the ground. Uh, so there you go. I, I don't know. It, it reinforces everything for me. Of course, you know, confirmation bias, you know, everything reinforces what you already believe many times. We're the militiamen. We're responsible for, for defending ourselves and those around us. Uh, you can't rely on anyone else to do it. Cops can be wonderful people. Firefighters are wonderful people. EMTs are wonderful people, but they're cleanup. They're the cleanup crew. Uh, and that's not an indictment. That's not an accusation. That's just reality, you know. You've all heard the old saying, when seconds count, the police are only minutes away. Uh, so, uh, you know, here we are again at, at another watershed event, another another stair step down, you know. Uh, I, I don't have anything new to say to you. I sound like a broken record. Get out of the cities. Get out of the urban areas. Disconnect from this society. I love country music. Not anymore. It's, it's gotten pretty bad here in recent years. But but everything connected to the culture, it, it's it's not for us anymore. Uh, it's a distraction, and uh, and and I'm not one of these you know only read the Bible. You know I like to go out and have fun. I like a few drinks. I like to go dance and sing and and carry on and uh, and do the hoochie coo and you know all that stuff. But but that's not where we're at in our history right now. And if you can fit that stuff in somewhere, that's great. But but you can't do it in crowds of 20,000 people in the middle of downtown Las Vegas. Those days are behind us. Uh, the truck attacks and the car attacks and the van attacks in Europe have proved that to us. The Pulse nightclub has, has proven that to us. This is another another scenario where where this is not a place for us. You need to be in the country. You need to have your assault rifle. You need to have your Minuteman gear. You need to have your family and friends close. And... Uh, and you need to be trying to, to secure what's important in your immediate area and seeing what you can, now the baby's crying, <laughs> seeing what you can do for uh, the far, farther out. Uh, so there you go. Appreciate all your time, man. I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I did this one justice, but I don't think there's anything you can do with this one. It was a horrible, terrible, stupid, awful thing that happened. And whatever comes out of it, there really is not going to be any answers or resolution. We'll talk to you soon.